Welcome to Makeup by Mon. I'm going to be doing an Ulta and Sephora haul. So let's get started. Before I forget, I'm going to try to get better at like saying what I'm wearing before I start because then I go into the video and I start to edit and I'm like, what was I wearing on my lips? Uh, so this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick. And then I have a Makeup Forever Artist Plexiglass on top. And then on my eyes, I have on the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. So I just want to say that before I forgot. And let's get started. I have quite a few things from Sephora. Uh, and then a shipment from Ulta as well. So I went to Sephora when I was in Houston this past weekend and got a few things as well as a shipment. And uh, one of the things I got in store is this Origins. It's a three pack. And it was $23, which is a really great value because just one of these on its own is $26. So it comes with the checks and balances with this like a frothy face wash. It comes with the Origin uh, Clean Clean Improvements? Clear Improvements. It's their charcoal mask. And then it comes with this last one. It's called the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I tried this one last night like I could not even wait to try it and OMG it just like sinks into your skin. I didn't wear it overnight. I wore it for like two or three hours and then I washed it off but oh it's it's really good and the charcoal one I'm already in love with um, and already bought a full size. My husband got me one for my birthday so I'm really glad I have a small one so I can travel with it because typically when I travel like the conditions are always different like it's not the weather might not be the same or the humidity might not be the same and so my skin can sometimes like react in a not so great way so this is definitely going to be used and i've never used the checks and balances one so i'll definitely give that one a shot i also got these clinique take the day off uh cleansing wipes so I already know that I love the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. These were $14, which is actually pretty pricey in my opinion. There are 50 towelettes in it. Uh, I'll see how it is, how I like it, if I like it as much as the Cleansing Balm. The Cleansing Balm is double this price. So if I like these, these would be a lot cheaper, hopefully. Um, I'm thinking it has the same ingredients as the Take the Day Off Balm. Um, so I'm excited to try those. I also got of these uh, Sephora hand masks. This is in avocado. I have tried their eye mask, their face mask, and now their lip mask, and now I wanted to try their hand mask because why not? I mean, I don't know what I would need, you know, extra loving on my hands for, but I'll try it. And uh, Tati was raving about these from Glen Life Guru. It was $6. Then I also went to um, TJ Maxx and I happened to go to like a grocery store called H-E-B in Houston. So at TJ Maxx, I found, I was like literally shocked, like stopped in my tracks. I found the Kat Von D blushes. So these are the shade and light blushes. If you remember, these came out around the beginning of the year and they were like all the rage, all the YouTubers had them. I got Pee Off and Poe and I got Samson and Delilah. And then all of a sudden they were gone. Like she took them off the shelves. I hear that she's reformulating and repackaging them. I had actually bought one from Sephora and returned it because I could not justify spending like $27 on a blush. Um, not because I didn't necessarily like, thought the product itself was okay. Um, I only used it once or twice. I didn't really give it a fair shot, but for like $27, I mean, I just have buyer's remorse whenever certain things cost a certain amount and I don't love them immediately, I'm gonna return it. So I was super, super excited to see these. And even if they suck, at least they were only $6. So I'm super, super stoked to have those and add them to my collection. And when I went to H-E-B, they were having a sale on Maybelline and um, it was like a buy one, get one half off. And these two happened to be getting clearance out. I'm not sure if it was colors or expiration dates, but I got the Maybelline Better Skin um, concealer. I got it in the color light because I feel like when I heard reviews about these, they were running darker than normal. And so I figured light would be okay. 
And then I also got the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, so I figured why not try the Fit Me Powder, and I got it in the color Natural Buff. I'm not sure if that's my color. Hopefully it is, or I can make it work, but a lot of YouTubers rave about this um, and the texture and the pigmentation, and it, it's apparently supposed to be a really good setting powder. So I got that. And then I also saw these, they were on sale for 67 cents. I've been on like a super mask kick lately. Like I just, I wanna try all the masks, just like let me put it on my face. I'm really trying to get better at taking care of my skin. I feel like I do a good job already, but I just turned 28 this past weekend, which is getting closer to 30, and I just really, really want to take care of my skin and make sure that I give it like the best possible life I can. And so these are on sale, like I said, for 67 cents. This one looks like it's definitely gonna be good. It's Creamy Coconut, and it's by the brand Montague Genesee. I guess that's what it is. Um, I've seen these at a lot of places, actually, like grocery stores, Walgreens, stuff like that. And then this is by the same brand, and it's Mint Chocolate Chip. I don't, I don't know about that, but I'm gonna try it. It's got a lot of really good ingredients, purified water, natural clay, shea butter, cocoa, I mean it has some good stuff in it. You put it on, you cleanse your skin, you massage it on your face, you put it on for 15 minutes, and then you rinse it off. So, why not? Maybe I can convince my husband to try it with me as well. So then I got another Sephora shipment. This was a one-off. I got it whenever it was, like Jaclyn Hill released this the night of her Becca um, launch party for Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop and I ordered this whenever it got released with the first batch and I used it today because I just could not wait anymore. That's a Prosecco pop with just a little bit of champagne pop on top and then I'm also using the blushes that come in the palette. First of all, it's like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packaging. It's amazing. It's, it's kind of hard to open. The only reason why it was easy just now is because I opened it previously. And I'm really, really afraid to break it. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's white. It's like really hard duty. At least that's what it feels like. I'm checking on the price. It is $52. It is currently out of stock at Sephora. Um, but I hear that they're going to replenish. And I will open it up. It's like heavy, heavy duty. It's got like a big clasp. And it comes with the overlay, you know, that has all the colors of everything, and this is what it looks like. So it's stunning, stunning, like absolutely amazing. I was so excited to use it. I actually almost like don't want to use it because it's so beautiful, but it has, um, so it has three different blushes and then it has the two highlighters. So it has Rose Spritz, which is a luminous blush, and then it has Amaretto and Pamplemousse, which are both mineral blushes. And then it has the original Champagne Pop, which I already have in a trio, and I have the single Champagne Pop. Um, and then it has Prosecco Pop, which is the new one. So Prosecco Pop you cannot get uh, except in this palette, from what I believe. Champagne Pop, you can get it poured, you can get the pressed highlight, you can get the liquid highlight, um, and it comes in multiple forms, and it is like now a permanent part of the Becca collection, at least for the highlight, the Champagne Pop highlight. So this is super, super limited edition, and that's why I had to get it like immediately. One of my friends texted me and was like, Monica, this is not a drill. It's on sale. And so I immediately thank God for the Sephora app and for Apple Pay. If you are an avid Sephora fan, you need to get the app and you need to install Apple Pay on the app because if you do, it's just like super instant. You put your fingerprint in and you buy the product, which is like great for a girl like me that panics when something like this goes on sale. I also got this Elizabeth and James Black Nirvana Dry Shampoo. I know I love the smell of it. I actually did not mean to purchase this. I just wanted to get the Becca thing. This was in my cart. Uh, I usually like put things in my cart that I am thinking about maybe getting eventually. I will probably return this um, just because it was, let me double check on the price. I'm, I have Sephora opened up so I can tell you what it was, $14. No, so that's going back because it was an accident and I did not mean to order it uh, when I ordered the uh, Jaclyn Hill palette. This little hula set from Benefit came with 
my Becca palette and it has a mini Hoola bronzer, that guy right there, it has the Do The Hoola liquid bronzer and then it has the Hoola Zero Tan Lines. Um, and they're all pretty good sizes. It was a VIB Rouge, uh, like deluxe sample with, if you had a code. I don't think it's available anymore, but I'm super excited to try Hoola. I've never tried it before. So now we're getting into, now we're getting into an Ulta purchase that I made. So I was fortunate enough to get an Ulta gift card from one of my students, um, two of my students actually for teacher appreciation because I am a teacher and which was super thoughtful because my kids know how much I love makeup and I finally decided to like make an order and they had some, um, some good deals going on. So I won't even tell you about the hassle to get this package though because they wouldn't deliver it to our door because I don't even know why. Like sometimes Ulta and Sephora, they'll they'll drop it off without a sign. Like you don't have to sign for it and sometimes you do. It's just such a super hassle. But that's neither here nor there. So from Ulta, I got this Essence Make Me Brow. Apparently, what would Lizzie do? She swears that this is a Benefit Gimme Brow dupe. And I got it in the color Brownie Brows. There's only two colors to it. I think there's like a blonde color and this one. So you're out of luck if you have any brows that are any color besides that. But apparently it is a dupe for the Gimme Brow and it was $2.99. So if it is, and I can just already tell by looking at the bristle, that's very similar to the brush in Gimme Brow, um, then I'm super, super stoked to find a cheap alternative. I also got this Essence 2 pack. It has the Lash Princess and the Lash Princess. They're both called Lash Princess. One of them is the False Lash Mascara and the other one is the Lash Princess Mascara. I have tried one of these. I can't remember which one, but I wanted to try the other. This was $7.99, which I think was a really great deal. So I got this and this, and they were running a deal that if you got um, two Essence products, you know, $10 or more or whatever, you got a free mascara by Essence. So I got this I Love Extreme Lashes Essence Mascara that came with it. I also got this um, Lorac set. So I've been wanting to try the new Lorac blushes. And Lorac is really, really, um, what's the word I'm looking for, affordable? I would say it's affordable compared to some of the other high-end uh, cosmetic brands. So I got the color... There's no way that's called tinge. There's no way that's called tinge. That's impossible. Really? It's called tinge? That's, I don't think it's called tinge. Yeah. It's called tinge. How weird. That is really, really light. I hope that shows up on my skin. The packaging though, bomb.com. Look at that. Ooh, it is so lightweight. And it's the color tinge, which is such a random color. Um, but they were doing a deal, so it, um, this is a set. They only had it in a few color selections. You got a blush, you got a lip liner, and you got their Alter Ego lipstick for $30. The blush alone is like 22, either 20 or 22. So you basically get one of these products for free. I am a fan of the Lorac Alter Ego lip glosses, and um, I've never tried their lip liners. Yeah, that's like right up my alley. I've never tried their lip liners before, but I've heard really great things. I've never tried their lipstick before, but I've tried really great things. I mean, I've heard really great things. Um, I am a huge Lorac fan. I use my Lorac Matte Pro every day, my Pro Matte every single day. Um, and so I don't think they can really disappoint me. Yeah, these are like right up my alley. Um, so those are the colors. It's, they're both like a kind of dusty rose color. This one is the only one that I hope shows up on my skin. It looked a lot darker online, but you know, what can you do? And then I got also, I'm like sitting in a sea of makeup. It is, it is insane. I think I'm done. I was doing no makeup May where I didn't buy any makeup. The only thing I bought was that Jaclyn Hill palette because it was limited edition. And so I ordered all this stuff literally on like the 1st of June. <laughs> I'm insane, I'm insane. So I'm, I'm on a no makeup kick again, probably for the rest of the month. I have heard some really great things about this one heck of a blot. It's by Soap and Glory, it's their foundation. 
I got it in the color Happy Medium. I can already tell though, I feel like it's going to be really, really dark. The crappy thing about this is there was not a large color selection. Um, and in store, it's even worse. Like online, there was more colors, but in store, there's not. And so I think this might be a little too dark, but I might be able to make it work with my NYX uh, foundation mixer. I also got this Redken Diamond Oil that was on sale for $6. I've raved about this before. It's been in my favorites. It's been in my empties. It is amazing. I put it in my hair every day. It makes it silky. It makes it smooth. It makes it shiny. Like two to three pumps of this just at the ends of your hair at the roots. It will do wonders. Wonders. Um, I think that's it from Ulta. And then I have one more Sephora. It's just one thing. But I happened to get a lot of um, samples because I had a really good code to be VIB Rouge that had some like bomb samples. So the only product I got is the Becca, um, this is the Becca Jaclyn Hill collaboration. It's the Champagne Collection Eye Palette. And um, I had, like I said, three deluxe samples I could pick from, so I got this Tarte. I've been wanting to try this forever. It is the Tarte Tarte Guard 30 SPF. And then I also got the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, which I have tried before. It was in my Sephora favorites for dry shampoo. It smells amazing. The packaging is super cute. And then I also got a deluxe size sample of the All Nighter by Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. So I mean, those are some really, really great large size samples. And I got to pick three of the like small size samples. You'll be able to tell that I'm definitely in a mask mood. Um, I got this Bamboo Water Lock. It's a mask. Um, it's by Aerobian. <laughs> and then I got an Origins High Potency. Um, it's like a skin refining oil. And then I got this Instant Skin Smoothing Mask by Roloxin. I don't even know. If you could see everything on my desk right now, you would be like, uh -huh. it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have you gotten anything at Sephora or Ulta or any drugstore lately? If you have, comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm gonna look. Now I stand inside as your shadow crosses. It is, it's called Tin. It takes to come up.